Alan, this is Jerry Abrams. Call me at 956-1922. Thank you. Sharp may I help you? Hi, Jerry, please. This is Alan Adrian returning his call. Alan is your name? Alan Adrian. Spell the last name? A D R I A N. Telephone number? Uh four seven four eight nine nine three. Four seven four eight nine nine three? Right. Is there an area code to that? It's four one five. Okay, hold the line, please. I'll get Jerry. Okay, Jerry seems not to be answering his pager. Okay, can you take a message? Can you be reached at that number? Um, what would be better? Could you take a message for him? Do you do that? I can, but he'll probably call. No, it's, see, uh, I just want to tell him that I'm in New York, and I'll call him when I get back to San Francisco in a couple of weeks. And that will basically answer, um, he, you know. Okay, you're in New York. Yes. And I'll I'll call him when I return to San Francisco in a couple of weeks. When returning to San Francisco? Yes. In a couple of weeks. In a couple of weeks. Okay. And and the name again is, is Alan Adrian. Yeah. And Let me try one more time, okay? Okay. Call, please. Yeah, do that. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to keep holding because it's long distance. Uh -huh. Okay, th right. thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Here he is. Wait, hold on. Okay. 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 Hi, Jerry. Hello? Jerry? Are you there? I guess not. Hello? Yes, this is Alan? Yes. Okay, um, I talked to the lady that said Jerry's residence. She said that Jerry's in an important meeting, and he'll be returning at 3.30, so if you'd like to call. Okay, it's no, it's not that important if you can just give him that message. All right. Okay, see, I'm in New York. The reason I answered, uh, even though you called the San Francisco number, is because of call forwarding, so... Okay. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Alan, Jerry Abrams, I'm sorry I wasn't available when you called me, but if you could leave a number in New York, uh, I'll call you there. 956-1922. Also trying to get a hold of Jamie. I, I'm not sure if he's still out here or back there. Um, I was supposed to see him before he left. Please give me a buzz. Thank you. Job Protection, who's calling? Hi, this is Alan Adrian. Uh, could you leave a message for Jerry? Okay, well, if you want to hold on the line a moment, I can get a hold of him. Okay. And uh, can I have the phone number you're calling from? Yes, there you go, 212-438-538-5858. Okay, hold on the line. All right. Thanks for calling back. I really appreciate it. Good. Um, You're in the Big Apple? Yes. You working back there? No, I had to come back for some other reasons. I'm not working right now. Uh -huh. Is Jamie with you? Uh, no, Jamie is in Los Angeles. Uh-huh. So he hadn't come back yet? Remember I called you uh Right, no. Weekend? Yeah, he never came back. He never came back to San Francisco at the time that he originally was going to. Uh huh. And the last I heard from him, he's going to be in Los Angeles until the middle of April, uh, until the middle of March. So you know where I can reach him because there's a, a treatment that I wanted him to read while he was out here. The best thing to do, there was a number he gave me to reach him in L.A. and I'll give that to you. It's uh, 213-456-8972. All right. All right. So I don't know if he's still there, but that's the number he gave me when he left. All right. Is he working? Uh, he's, I think he's, well, he's going to be doing something for Svetlana. 
and pretty soon, or probably starting this weekend, I think. Um, say hello everybody in New York. All right. Um, is Robin back there? Uh, I didn't talk to her yet. I I think she is, yeah. Okay. I know Robin and, uh, do you know, uh, Pauline? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, say hi to her if you run across her. Okay. Pauline Willoughby. Right. She's an old buddy. Oh, I, I haven't seen her too often. Do you want my New York number? Sure. It's 212-438-5852. Is that where your family is? No, no, no. I have an apartment in New York, too. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. It's in Brooklyn. All right. <laughs> well, I, that makes it, that sort of clarifies things, so I don't sound like I'm too wealthy, right? Having an apartment in Manhattan. I tried to arrange splitting an apartment on a part-time basis with somebody in Manhattan, and it never worked out. I, I, because I, I like to go to New York for short bursts, you know, but it was always a hassle staying somewhere. You know, you either impose on someone or you pay these outrageous hotel bills. Right. And I really wanted a place that someone could that lives in New York could have but also have a, another bedroom or something to share when I got back there. And I was willing to put up some bucks, but it never came through. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm looking for someone to share this place in Brooklyn, actually. How far out in Brooklyn is it? It's near Prospect Park. Do you know where that is? Vaguely. Isn't there a museum near there? Yeah, there's some museum around here. I'm not sure which one. I don't one. know if I wanted to live out there, though. That's the problem. Because I'd be doing interviewing, you know, I'd have people come in, you know. Oh, yeah, no, I wouldn't. Be more centrally located in Manhattan. Yeah, it would not be a good place for interviews, no. <laughs> it's too far away. No one would come out here. Yeah. <laughs> Except the talent that lives in Brooklyn. Right. <laughs> is one crazy lady whose name, whose name escapes me. Uh, Candida. Thanks for calling. Okay. Alan, and, um... Alan. Adrian is a good first name, too. It is, yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, when are you going to come back? Because I'd like to meet you. Uh, two weeks. All right. Two I'll weeks. Call on your return. I will. I'll see if I can get you, I'll get you some work. Great. Good. Okay, buddy. Talk to you then.